With the release of version 14.20 of PLS CAD, you now have the ability to define the station ranges for paging the sheets view using a couple different options. For this video, we will be using the WPLDemo.xyz file and we'll start in the sheets view. The portion of a project that is shown in the sheets view is based on the alignments in the project. The WPLDemo.xyz project defaults to the option that shows all portions of the alignments in a project from beginning to end. This is the default for any new project that is created in PLS CAD. The amount of alignment that is paged in the Sheets view is controlled in the Drafting, Plan and Profile, Sheet Configuration, Pages and Station Range dialog. At the bottom of the dialog, the default of Generate Drawing Sheets for the full alignment is selected, but there are two other options available in this drop-down menu. The first is to specify a single station range for drawing sheets. For example, you could only want to see the drawing sheets from station 1000 to 3000. When you type this in direct, it will only page this range. Besides typing this in direct, you can also select the structures in the pull-down menu on the right. This will automatically populate the station field with the station of the structure selected. For example, let's only page from structure 107 to 100. The numbers are in reverse order since the numbering is opposite of the station direction. As you can see, the stations of these structures automatically populate the station fields, and when you hit OK, this is the only portion of the line that has the drawings generated. The last option is to generate multiple station ranges for the drawing sheets. Just as the single range option, you can use structure numbers or specify the start and stop station manually. If you click on the structure list button, you can add an ahead and back margin to each of the structure ranges. For this, we'll leave it at 300 feet margin. Then you can multi-select structures to highlight what you want included. Note that each range begins its own page. So as you see, I selected three structure ranges, and when I hit OK, you will get three pages since they are fairly short sections. And you'll notice that the paging is 300 feet before and after the structures in the ranges. You can repeat station ranges, but this would need to be done manually. You will need to clear the structure selection when adding the new sections if you do not want them included. For example, you may want a 500 foot station overlap. You could do so by having one range go from 1000 to 3000 and another range go from 2500 to 5000. With this new ability, you can quickly and easily create plan and profile sheets for select areas of a project that could be used to simplify the construction documents delivered to the field and focus on the areas of interest in a project. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.powline.com. If you would like further information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at And finally, if you'd like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at We look forward to hearing from you soon.